Hi. Now in this question, what we've got to do is solve this equation. 7 cos 2x minus 24 sine 2x equals 12.5 for x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 180 degrees, giving our answers to 1 dp. Now it did actually say hence solve the equation because in the previous part we found out that 7 cos 2x minus 24 sine 2x was identical to this statement here, 25 times the cosine of 2x plus 73.739 odd degrees. So, you might like to pause the video, have a go at this question, all right? And uh, if you're stuck at any point or you want to check your answer, just come back and uh, check out my work solution. Okay, well, let's just see uh, how we go about this then. What I would want to do is replace the left hand side here with what we've got up here. So I'm going to say that therefore we've got 25 cosine of 2x plus 73.739 and so on degrees. Well that equals 12.5. Next I need to remove the 25, so I divide both sides by 25. And if I do that, we've just left with the cos then of 2x plus 73.739 and so on degrees equals 12.5 divided by 25, which is a half or as a decimal 0.5. Now I need to remove the cosine here, so I take the inverse cos of both sides. So if I do that, that just leaves me with the angle part here, 2x plus 73.739 and so on. Degrees is equal to the inverse cosine of 0.5. Now when you get to this situation, you've got to work out what this value is, all right? And you can either do it by graphical methods to get all the other solutions, or you could use the quadrant diagram. If you've seen a lot of my videos in the past, you'll realize that generally I'm a fan of using the quadrant rule. It's so much easier, and it's got other advantages too. So I'm going to use the quadrant diagram. So we've got the cosine of an angle equals a positive value. And cosine is positive in what we call the first quadrant here and in the fourth quadrant. So what we do is we draw a line in the first quadrant, mark that angle in to the horizontal, and then we mark in another line in the fourth quadrant equally inclined to that horizontal. So these two angles are exactly the same. Now we're looking for x to be between 0 and 180 degrees. So we start from the zero, we turn in an anti-clockwise sense because that's the positive sense to the first line here. And this angle in here, let's just mark it like so, this angle is a possible 2x plus 73.739 odd degrees. So let's just mark that in. I might not have enough room, so we'll just mark that as 2x plus 73.7 for the time being, okay? Now, when we inverse cos 0.5, the answer that we get that comes up on the calculator is 60 degrees. So this angle in here, this little blue bit here, is 60 degrees. It means that this one here is also 60 degrees. And we can use this then to help us get the solutions. So we can see that a possible value for this is in fact 60 degrees. We'll just mark that down there. But can you see that at this stage, if we take 73.739 away from 60 degrees, that's going to leave us with a negative angle, minus 13.739. And then if we divide that negative angle by 2, it's still going to be negative, and that means that x is not going to be in this region. So this 
value of 60 degrees, this possible value for 2x plus 73.7 is going to be invalid. So what that means is that we need to carry on round to the next line. So if we start from here, let's do it in green, we'll come round here, all the way round to this line here. So that means that this turn is also a possible 2x plus 73.7 and so on degrees. Now, what would that angle be? Well, a full turn is 360, so if we go less than 60, back off 60 degrees, that's going to be a turn of 300 degrees. So this green one that I've got here is going to be 300 degrees. Just mark it in green, okay? So I can see now that when I take 73.739 away from 300 degrees, then divide by 2, it's going to be in this interval, for x that is. I can also see that there's another possible solution. If I start from here, go all the way around again, let's come around here, through here, we'll just go like so, all the way around, come through here until we come onto this line again, like so. This too will be another solution that's going to fall into range. What I've done is I've gone a full turn of 360 degrees, followed by another 60 degrees. In other words, 420 degrees. So let's just mark that one in as 420 degrees. Now I can see that just doing a mental calculation that if I take now 73.739 away from here and divide by 2, that 2 is going to fall into this region. The next solution, which would be to start from 0 and go all the way around, and then to this blue line, is going to be too much. So it's only going to be this green one and this pink one that are going to be the ones that I require. So let's just put the 60 degrees in brackets. We're not going to use that one. So all I've got to do now is take 73.739 away from the 300 and the 420 degrees. And that's going to leave me with the 2x. So therefore, 2x is going to be the result of getting 300, take away this angle, 73.739. And that gives me 226.261 and so on degrees. And if I do 420 minus the 73 odd degrees, I get 346.261 and so on degrees. Now I divide each of these by two to give me x. If I do that, I get that x equals, for the first one, 113.130 and so on degrees. And for this one, 173. 0 0.130 degrees. And now all I've got to do is give my answers to one decimal place. So if I do that, we therefore have that x equals 113.1 degrees, and then for the second one, 173.1 degrees. And I'm just going to put here both to one decimal place, 1 dp for short. All right, so I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about doing questions like this.